What's up, everyone? Welcome to BTI. I'm Josh Matthews. That's Gia Miller. Impact Wrestling is right around the corner as we get ready for Rebellion, as we get ready for the multiverse of matches. So much happening here each and every Thursday night. But Gia, we have to start with what happened last week, how the night began. It was an incredible tag team. It was a dream match. Yeah, absolutely. It was Bullet Club versus the Motor City Machine Guns. But the match ended in controversy. Two former world champions, one from New Japan, one from here at Impact Wrestling. And Saban is on fire and on a roll. Huge oh. back body drops. Saban no doubt inspired by Shelly's oh. effort at sacrifice. Pick Bay out of the sky. Now Saban with a clothesline. Looking to keep this momentum rolling. I am absolutely flabbergasted at the lack of, of ring rust between the Motor City Machine Guns. They oh, haven't missed a beat, but right now, trying to set up there. Oh, it's elbow in the corner. Oh, the teamwork continues here. Oh, drop kick there by Shelly. Oh, oh. The bullet point. Not a single beat missed with the Motor City Machine Guns. I will give it to them. That White's grabbing the official for dear life. Whoa! Oh, satellite DDT, here's the cover up to the inside leg. Kick out by White. Imagine if White was pinned by one of the two men who mentored him coming up in this business here tonight. That's something Jay White, I can't imagine letting it happen. There's a lot of pride that flows within the soul of the leader of the Bullet Club. Up on the shoulders. Maybe take a cradle shock there for a moment. Jay White saw it coming. Jay White, oh, oh and he snaps suplex into the turnbuckle. Considering the fighting mood that Bullet Club is in, we saw on BTI, the Good Brothers demanding their Impact World Tag Team title rematch against Violent by Design for next week. The club is trying to kick it into high gear. Big oh. high gear. Chris Bay. Get Jay with this momentum. Huge. There's he... anyone that can keep up with the guns, it's Bay. No kidding. Bay up top and a big cross body. Bay grew up watching the Motor City Machine Guns, but he's learned so much from Jay White. Putting it into oh. practice. Spin out into a neck breaker, cover, kick out by Saban. What a win this would be for Bullet Club to knock off the legendary tag team, the Motor City Machine Guns, who look as good as ever, by the way. Very much so. Haven't missed a beat, haven't missed a step. Wait a minute, Shelly, Shelly protecting Saban. Oh, dragon screw. Great teamwork, but there's Jay White. Oh, and now one for Shelly. And now Saban oh. gets in on the ass against White. Oh. Superman four on there by Bay. Dragons all around. And now the back and forth between Shelly and Bay. Whoa! Set him up. Great job there by the guns. That was classic Motor City right there. Ooh. In the corner. And this is that barrage of offense that the machine guns are known for. Going up top. Skull and bones. Cover. Oh, broken up. Wait a minute. He got him. The guns got the club. The Motor City Machine Guns. The Motor City Machine Guns beat the Bullet Club by a fraction of a second. Jay White is livid. He's incensed, and I don't blame him. I saw he got there, but. We got to take a look back at this. This is extraordinarily close. It looked like, I don't know, it looked like the guns pulled this off with a split second. And 
I swear to God, it was Jay White who got there right in time. Right there. How could he not? Ray, well, I understand what you're saying. It did look like Jay White got there around two and a half. However, Chris Bay's shoulders were down. Chris Saban was all over him. You can understand why there's controversy abound here with the decision of this matchup, but the referee's decision is final. The win goes to the guns. It was this close. I've watched this footage in slow motion. I've watched it in sped up motion. And at the end of it all, it was so close. Yeah. And it all leads to a rematch between Bullet Club and the Motor City Machine Guns. So in the end, we all win. We all come out winners. Winners, winners. Oh yeah, winners, winners like Deanna Perrazzo and her Champ Champ Challenge. But last week, it wasn't just one competitor, it was two. And Deanna could have potentially lost it all on Thursday night. Shaw, here about a drop, Lady Frost. Interrupting the momentum of Lady Frost is Giselle Shaw. Set down to the ring. Here's a cover for both titles and a kick out. Uh, it lists Perrazzo recouping in the corner. She can lose both her titles without even being oh. involved in the decision. Of course, that's always a threat. It's always a possibility. But I believe she's picking her moment, just like she's always done this entire match. And finally, Lady Frost. Hits that cannonball she's wanted since moment one. The snowball fight, the cannonball in the corner. And now Perrazzo back into it. Whoa! Oh, everyone goes for a ride. The incredible strength by the Virtuosa. I, I, I got to see that one more time. You take a look, Deanna grabbing Lady Frost from behind. Both athletes thrown over her head. Double German suplex. Incredible from the Virtuoso. Brazos going up top. High risk here. Lady Frost loves this part of the ring. Very capable up here, but she's got to know who she's up there with. The Superplex! Brazos in trouble, and it's Sean Frost no, 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 over no, the no. ring. Not like this. Oh, we're on Lady Frost to win both titles and a kick out. Super kick by Shaw. King Shaw, the way. double champion, kick out. Oh, yeah. Once again, man, somebody's got to check. Oh, look at that. On the virtual exposing the knee. Whoa! Oh, for that running knee strike. Frost able to evade. What a kick by Frost. Great wherewithal from Frost there. That knee has done a lot of damage here in Impact. Shaw is down, and this is exactly where Lady Frost wanted Shaw, but Shaw is starting to get back up to her feet. Oh! Buster! Oh, and now Perrazzo's all over Lady Frost! Queen's Gambit, she got it! Cover by Perrazzo! Perrazzo retains her titles! Your winner and still champion, Deanna Perrazzo! So Deanna Perrazzo comes out unscathed last Thursday night, but Deanna Perrazzo is going to be at it again. The Champ Champ Challenge continues at the Multiverse of Matches presented by Impact Wrestling in Dallas, Texas on Friday night, April 1st. Can't wait for that night. Can't wait for WrestleCon. And can't wait to see what else is going to happen here tonight. I'll tell you what's going to happen tonight. We have action here on BTI as Shira faces off against Crazy Steve. Don't go anywhere, folks. BTI continues with more right after this. Welcome back to BTI and wherever you're watching us from. We thank you for joining us as we get ready for Impact Wrestling right around the corner. And people say, I'm in a bad mood a lot. You know who was in a bad mood last week? Josh Alexander. He was in a foul. What, what's your problem? I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just holding my, holding my tongue. That's uh -huh. all. That's all. Uh -huh. Just holding my tongue. I'm, yep. I'm, I'm nothing but kind to everybody that works here. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, Josh it, faced off against Matt Taven last week in the main event, and things got interesting. Alexander looking to pick up where he left off. Chaining together. Not one. Not two. Looking for a trifecta here. Ah. And the release after three German suplexes. 
I think Tame had bit off a bit more than he could chew. He was going for the thunder bomb into the single leg Boston Crab like Edwards did last week. Once again, Alexander looking for that C4 spike, though. Tame and rolling through. Oh, just the tip, the knee strike. Matt Taven has wrestled all over the world. He knows every single style of wrestling. So whatever Josh brings, Matt Taven has something to answer for them. Well, Taven and Alexander exchanging blows here in the impact zone. Ooh, oh, and a straight right. That slugfest breaking out here in Louisville. Oh, by the shoulders. Alexander sent into the ropes. To the outside, Taven on. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. On his caught and dragged back in by, by Alexander. Taven trying to get away. Oh, oh and a cross body to the back. Come on, ref, get him back in the ring. That is the Josh Alexander note that the Impact Zone knows and loves. I don't know and love him. Fair point. Count of four, both men after the count of 10 to get back inside the ring, a risk of count out. Alexander wants to make a statement here and defeat Matt Taven. Trying to put honor no more behind him. Adam and Matt re-cement himself in this, his first match back since being sent home. Wants to remind everyone just who the hell he is. And now Alexander one more time, middle of the ring. He's thinking about the C4 spike as one of this all match long. Taven trying to drop his weight and prevent it. Taven fighting with everything, fighting with the heart of a former world champion, proving that he belongs. He's been in this position before. He's had championship matches. He's Whoa. defeated. Oh, Taven trying is. to surprise Alexander in a kick out. And that's that mentality, taking any opening he can. Alexander oh. Cole with the kick. And once again, the momentum is shifted back to Taven. Oh, was looking at the, looking at the climax. Whoa. Whoa. Ankle lock. Ankle lock locked in. Red legs wrapped around. Come on, Taven. Come ring. on, Taven. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ankle lock by Come Alexander. Taven in a Taven. very bad way here. Give him the rounds. And Taven gets to the bottom rope that'll break up the submission. I don't know why the impact zone was booing. That is just smart. That is intelligence. That's ring awareness from Matt Taven. Oh, Ooh, in the left arm once again. I'm just impressed at how well Taven continues to scalp that left arm of Josh Alexander. Always taking the opening when he sees it. Taven up top. Alexander there to meet him. Superplex! Whoa, 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 whoa. Alexander held on! No, 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 no. what is this? C4 spike! No, come on! Alexander beats Taven! Here is your winner of the walk-in weapon, Josh Alexander! could not compete at no surrender. He'd been sent home, took it personally, that I don't know more was even here at Impact Wrestling. But he came back to make a statement, and he just made one tonight against Matt Taven. And now Josh Alexander can look forward to rebellion in April and his Impact World title match against Moose. Alexander wants his revenge.
Hey, relax. Get out of here. I don't want to be here as much as you don't want me here. But I need you to do me a favor. You see, I need to deliver this by the end of the night, and the Anthem office is closing it. I figured since you live right down the street, I might as well drop it off to you so you could drop it off in the Anthem office in the morning. Oh, it's okay, Vinny. Hey, little man. You know who I am? It's okay, baby. Yeah. I'm your dad's friend from work. Can you do me a favor and deliver a message for me? Tell your dad Moose said hi, okay? Come on, let's go. Moose has crossed the line. Moose has obliterated the line. Moose has gone so far past the line in these uh, antics with Josh Alexander. I mean, how is Alexander going to respond? What's going to happen? We all wait to find out Josh Alexander's response to his rebellion opponent, Moose, when they clash for the world championship. But before we can get to that, we've got action here tonight as Shira battles Crazy Steve, and we continue to look back at impact from last week. Don't go anywhere, BTI continues right after this. Welcome back to BTI as we get closer to Impact Wrestling. It's right around the corner. It also puts us closer to Impact Wrestling presents the Multiverse of Matches in Dallas, Texas next Friday night, April 1st. But we got to get back to the action from last week right here on BTI. Yeah, and that action was Jonah looking to teach a lesson to Zicky Dice. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is set for one fall. Introducing first, from Black Forest, South Australia, that top dog, Jonah! Rebellion is shaping up to be an incredible night, but this is not going to be an incredible night for Zicky Dice, I don't think. Zicky Dice has felt the wrath of Jonah before. What Jonah did at sacrifice to was animalistic. Since then, Jonah has said, quote, CEO, he is all too human. What Jonah did was dismantle the freak. I mean, the damage that was leveled to PCO. We understand how much punishment Perfect Creation 1 can absorb, but still, it was uncomfortable to watch. His opponent from Cocoa Beach, Florida, Zicky Dice. See PCO do a lot of things to his opponents, to himself even, as far as punishment goes, but I've never seen him manhandle the way Jonah manhandled him at sacrifice. Zicky Dice getting a rematch, and I think he's dealing with a very different Jonah. There was something in the top dog that was unlocked at sacrifice. Zicky Dice turned his back oh, on Jonah. Never, I mean, never, why? never. Why in the hell would you do that? Going up to the top turnbuckle. No! Tsunami! That's it. Here is your winner, Jonah. And now Jonah back to his ways that we saw before sacrifice attacking his fallen opponents after the match. You're right, Tom. This is a different Jonah. Whoa. And it was because... No way. Wait, wait, what? What the hell? Oh, 
This crowd gets what they want. The fight continues. Jonah to the outside, and now PCO trying to get free, trying to get to Jonah. Now everyone trying to hold the top dog back, and look, PCO rises once again. No, no, no! The animator off the top destroys the security and the officials. Jonah looking at the devastation and what could have happened to him. Jonah can't believe it. The eyes tell the story. This is a different opponent that Jonah has ever faced. This man is insane. He's inhuman. And I can't wait to see what happens when Jonah and PCO finally clash. I want a front row seat for that one. Impact got some heavy hitters. Uh, yes, yeah, speaking of heavy hitters, W. Morrissey was looking to get his hands on Myers last week and he was going to take out anyone that got in his way. Oh. Larry D able to take him off his feet. Oh, and a stop! Right Larry to the back of the head to there. And Gurger's undefeated roll and a kick out. Gurger yeah. staying in this all the way, and I, I got to, I got to think. Part of that has to do with the encouragement of Raj Singh at ringside. What do you think Raj Singh is backing up Larry D right now? I don't know. Whoa! Right in front of our desk here in the, the commentator pro position for what, what it's worth. Brian Myers almost got a real close look at Bupinder Gujar there. On the top turnbuckle. Larry D and Gujar, look at the ropes buckling under the sheer humanity on the top turnbuckle. Could be a dangerous situation for both athletes here. As Bupinder continues to fight. Oh, Larry D. Oh, in the corner spear by Bupinder Gujar. Gujar remains unbeaten. Here is your winner, Bupinder Gujar. Talk about a hard-fought win for Bupinder Gujar. I'd say the toughest test he's had thus far in Impact. The toughest, the biggest, literal test. <laughs> Wait a minute. W. Morrissey hard enough from Brian Myers once again. Out here to get a piece of Myers who's running away. And now inside the ring, Ron Singh raising the hand of Bupinder Gujar like Singh had anything to do with his win. He was encouraging him. It was his words, his presence that, that I really think helped Bupinder Gujar. Whoa! Oh. in the table budget. Everything that happens on Thursday nights just continues to intensify. What's going to happen tonight when Impact Wrestling comes your way? We can't wait to find out. So much going down each and every week, and Impact gets started in just a little bit. But we still have action here to come on BTI as Shira takes on Crazy Steve. But coming up next, we're heading to cyberspace to look at our social media top five, clap back moment of the week, Iceman Intel and more. Don't go anywhere, BTI continues right after this. 
Welcome back to BTI as we get ready for Impact Wrestling, which takes place right around the corner from right now. But right now, it's our favorite segment of the entire show, the social media top five. You got any uh, front runners for what you think people are talking about this week? I mean, there was, me? uh, there was a lot to talk about from Impact, last week. Yeah, yeah I mean... It, Everything has been going so crazy. I mean, with Honor No More here, yeah. Moose, all the things that multiverse he's been doing, the matches. multiverse of matches. Yeah. There's Rebellion. a lot. Yeah, there's a lot happening. So there is no telling what's going to be in Impact the top five 20. this week. Yeah. Shop Impact. Yeah, you going to name it all? Impact Plus. Well, let's see which five made it. And now, the social media top five moments on BTI. Number five. There seems to be quite the Caleb triangle between the inspiration and the influence. Number four. Masha Slamovich makes it clear it's not about sportsmanship, it's about violence. Number three. PCO proving time and time again he is not human. Number two. A reunion everyone was waiting for, the Motor City Machine Guns back in action. And at number one. Absolutely despicable, Moose visits Josh's family at his home. You know, there's like yin and yang, good and bad, Josh and Gia. Very good comparison. And that takes us now to the worst part of the internet. And somebody, you know, just was up a little too late, got Twitter fingers and yeah, put yeah. something out there. Wasn't me. I was in bed by 1.30. In the morning? Mm-hmm. That's early for me. I'm a night owl. Wow, right, let's find out what the clapback moment of the week is this week. The clapback moment of the week is. I think this may be the first clapback that is no words at all. But I don't think we need them. Alrighty, there you have it. Somebody's gonna have to just come up with something. I'm gonna, I gotta come up with something big to get on the top. Yeah. How long is this show been going on? I mean, you, you gotta, you gotta up the ante, Josh. You gotta up the ante. You gotta, just, you gotta just, talk just start, yourself. Just start dropping f bombs. I got oh, it. No, no problem. Whoa, I got it. Whoa. I'll handle it. I'll take care of it. Um, well, we think of what we're gonna do to ruin the internet. Let's head to Iceman Intel and see what he's got for us this week. Iceman, what's going on? Welcome to Iceman's Intel, I'm George Iceman. Just a reminder, follow me on Twitter at I am George Iceman. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm still in sunny Florida working on a story, but right now I want to discuss a few things. One, the return of Rocky Romero. Are you kidding me? He's coming to the Impact Zone on Access tonight to take on Eddie Edwards one-on-one. -on -one. Now, Eddie Edwards has ruffled a lot of feathers in the wrestling world, and a lot of superstars are coming to Impact Wrestling, but not just because of Eddie Edwards, oh no. You see, I heard that tonight, a major announcement will be made. A match for Rebellion. Now, if the whispers are right, if all is true that I'm getting, this will be massive. No, no, this will be huge. And I'll tell you what, one of the competitors in this match is Jonah. So the question is, who's gonna step up to the plate and challenge Jonah at Rebellion? Find out! On Impact, on Access, tonight. Iceman, thank you very much. G and I are going to take a short break because we earned it, and we're going to send things back inside the Impact Zone. Tom Hannafin and Matt Raywalt for our BTI exclusive match this week. Guys, take it away. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest is set for one fall introducing first. Accompanied to the ring by Raj Singh, the Indian Lion, Shira! Meanwhile, Raj Singh has finally been able to recruit somebody who, I'll say, can do his dirty work for him. And he got the powerhouse oh. of Shira. I mean, incredible work working with Shira. Obviously, a, a great a prospect here for Raj Singh. But do his dirty work, he's merely trying to mentor the next generation of athletes. Listen, it's been a little while since the Impact Zone got to see Shira. This man is an absolute beast in the ring. And considering that Rod Singh's been going after Bupinder Gujar, this is not a bad solution in Shira. His opponent. Accompanied to the ring by Havoc, representing DK, Crazy Steve! Some are 
spec shown here by the Philadelphia Faithful inside the Fame 2300 Arena for Crazy Steve. You're telling me people from Philadelphia appreciate Crazy? Yes. You ever seen the Flyers mascot gritty? Unfortunately. Crazy Steve ready to collide with Raj Thing's new backup here. Crazy Steve was recently attempting to qualify for the exhibition title match at Rebellion. I would describe him as a wild card. Wild card is the definition of someone like Crazy Steve, like anybody from Decay. And we know Havoc will be out there the whole time as well. Decay is in effect. They're inside the 2300. Shayla versus Crazy Steve is next. on BTI. Thank you for joining us on Impact Plus YouTube and Facebook. And Crazy Steve has been warmly received by the Philly faithful. One-on-one -on -one here against Shira, who appears to be the newest, uh, I guess, ally of Raj Singh. Prospect, partner, friend well, of Raj I, Singh. I, I want to say this. Shira is no prospect. I mean, look at the man. Impressive athlete from head to toe. No doubt Stick Crazy Steve's gonna have his hands full here tonight. Uh, as of late, Raj Singh, he had been trying to recruit Bupinder Gujar to be his. Uh, to be his backup. That has not worked. Bupinder Gujar's done quite well. He's currently unbeaten here in Impact look, Wrestling. Look, Raj, I, he realized his own value. Yes. It's like in relationships, when you pursue a romantic partner, you can, at some point, you just got to know what you're worth, and you're not chasing and chasing and chasing. And he found someone in Raj Singh. And if you're Pinder Gujar, you just realize you should probably cut your losses early. Is that what he said? Did you talk to him about that? Seems pretty evident Pinder Gujar is aware. Whoa! Okay! That always freaks me out. Yeah, try being in the ring when that happens. Uh, do tell. It's it's just, it's unsettling. And now the fact that Crazy Steve um, wants to go test the strength here with Shira. It's gonna be a size disadvantage here. But he's still willing. One second, this one. Maybe some decayed mind games. Oh, no. He bit him in the ribs. Maybe not mind games, teeth games. I don't even know. Go ahead, you going again? Oh my God, go down to Ishka Bibbles and get a steak. You'll, you'll like that better. Oh, and I stop. Steve taking any advantage he can here. Maybe you blame him, and it doesn't have the size advantage necessarily. No. That's exactly what I would do. Oh. Now, Shira. I'm gonna bounce Steve to the outside of the ring. Shira in pursuit right in front of us, trying to chase after Crazy Steve, who goes back into the ring. Grabbing a hold of the left leg here of Shira. Oh. Dragon screw, and he got it. That's one way to chop the tree down. Very wise there, and a kick right to the kneecap by Crazy Steve. A match where I know he's crazy Steve, but he's very calculated right now. Very smart maneuvering here. Steve sent into the corner. Shira trying to shake some life into the left leg. Steve able to block him. Oh, hold on a second. About to turn things upside down. Yes! The upside down by Steve. The reverse tarantula breaks it before being disqualified. Bad place right now in between two members of the game. It's not W. Morrissey. It's Havoc. Oh, but you almost might be warm. It's so deep. a rough few weeks for Raj Singh. Oh, and Steve was having a little bit too much fun on the outside there with Raj Singh. Shira able to grab it. Now Steve flips back inside and cut down by the clothesline, but the knee of Shira definitely bothering him. Looking to smack a little life back into it. You still see some of the paint and marks left on the ribs of Shira. Big night still to come when Impact Wrestling begins on Access TV. In a matter of minutes, Steve Macklin collides with Rhino's tag team partner, Heath. 
looking for retribution for what happened last week. Meanwhile, for the first time ever, Eddie Edwards battles New Japan's Rocky Romero. We'll also see the last qualifying matchup for the X Division title match at Rebellion in a triple threat. And we'll open the show with Josh Alexander, obviously furious about what happened last week. Moose going to his home to sign the contract for their title match at Rebellion. A lot of tempers flaring. Oh. The emotions high heading into that Impact World title match at Rebellion. And right now it's crazy Steve who's flying high thanks to Shearer. Big fall away slam cover and a kick out reminiscent of the bad guy. Shira back up to his feet. Listen, Shira is no stranger to the impact zone. He's had a lot of success in this company and maybe stacking up a win here. Maybe Raj Singh is the right thing for him. Finally, you see a little bit of the light here, Tom. Oh my Thank God. God. Because that is exactly why. Look at the incredible strength of the Indian Lion, oh. Shira. Raw power. Into the cover, hook to the leg, and a kick out by Steve. These are those moments, Shira. This is where you gotta stay in control. Sometimes it's even more than strength, even more than athleticism, that confidence. And right now, Shira is displaying a lot of confidence. That can get you ahead just as quickly as skill. Chance of let's go, Steve, here in Philadelphia. One of the longest tenured members of Decay. Has got the support here in the 2300, but I guarantee you, Shira doesn't care. As he should, he's here to hurt, to maim, and to defeat Decay. And Havoc trying to cheer on Crazy Steve. Wild to hide here in Philadelphia, but Shira raining down blows. A big smile on Shearer's face. Raj Singh has got to be thrilled with what he's seeing right now. And look at the strength of Shearer. Working on that nerve hold, pinching that trap right there. Has a lot of connection to the spine. Can debilitate you in ways you can't even think about. Stop right back on the foot there. Steve, yeah, getting away here. Oh, face first into the top turnbuckle. And this is smart by Steve. Stick and move here. Firing up. I'd go back to those legs if I were Crazy Steve here. Oh, goes high. Jacks the jaw of Shira. Uh-oh. Gonna be time for a choke slam. There you go. Goes back to the previously damaged left knee. Oh, look at Crazy Steve. I'm gonna bite your face off. Crazy like I'm gonna bite his face off. Shira back up. Signature of decay right there. This match featuring multiple bites for Shira. Shira, oh, sky high cover. Shira puts down Steve. Shira. Dare I say it, Raj Singh making the right choice, recruiting Shira. Just how fast that match turned around at the last second. That is the power of Shira with Raj Singh. And all of a sudden, Rupinder Gujar has something to think about. Shira picks up the win here against Crazy Steve. For more on tonight's night of action, let's throw it back to Josh Matthews and Gia Miller. <laughs> All right, guys, thank you very much. Great match here on BTI, and we'll see you guys in just a little bit when Impact gets started. But Gia, it's that time right now. What are you looking forward to here tonight? I mean, honestly, I'm looking forward to see what Josh Alexander does or says in response to all of the things that Moose has done. I mean, it, like you said earlier, he's really crossed a line. I you, hope he doesn't come around I here. know, yeah, yeah. I, I need to speak yeah. a little quietly. Yeah. But he's crossed a line, and there's no telling what lengths he's going to go to. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Impact Wrestling is getting ready to start, so we thank you for joining us here on BTI. Don't forget Impact tonight. The multiverse of matches presented by Impact Wrestling next Friday night. It all sets the stage for Rebellion Live on pay-per-view Saturday, April 23rd. But for right now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the best two hours of wrestling that you'll find anytime this week. It happens right now.